What's going on guys? I've got here a 2004 Honda Civic. I'm gonna use this car to show you how to change the brake light switch. I'm gonna show you the brake light fuses, and I'm also gonna give you some troubleshooting steps. So as far as the brake light fuse, one great way to test it is see if your horn works. If your horn works, then you know your brake light fuse is good because they actually share the same fuse. Well, let's go ahead and head under the hood. This is where we can find the brake light fuse. It's gonna be behind this cover, which we remove by squeezing these tabs together and lifting up. And fuse number seven is what we're looking for. So this is that brake light fuse. And as you can see, this fuse is good. If you do find that this is blown, you might find a spare fuse over here. Now let's head back inside the car. I'll show you the actual location of the brake light switch and uh, how to replace it. I do have another video on the same car where I change the brake light bulbs. So you may want to check that out. Now heading down here, there are two trim pieces that I'm going to remove just to make it easier to get to everything. First, I'll do this one. So we rotate counterclockwise here and here. At that point, we can hinge this piece towards us and let it drop down. Now looking through here, we can see there's the brake light switch as well. There's one more piece I'm gonna remove, this bottom piece. Again, we rotate this counterclockwise and over on the left side, there's a piece that you will have to pop out. You might have to push that out. So this drops down and then pulls out. And we can also get to the switch down through here. Now I mentioned there can be a common issue that will cause your brake lights to stay stuck on. So if the brake lights are always on on your Civic, you may wanna look at this rubber piece. If this is missing, then your brake lights will always be on. The way that the brake lights work is when you push on the brakes here, it will move the lever away from the switch and that causes the plunger to come out of the switch and make the brake lights come on. If that rubber piece is missing, the plunger will always be out. So there's many different ways you can fix that. Uh, you can go down to Honda and buy a new plunger. Maybe your local parts store will have it. I've also seen people install bolts or glue pennies there, but that's something for you to check. Now the brake light switch itself, it's real easy to remove. You simply grasp it and rotate it counterclockwise about 45 degrees and then it will just slide right out. Now once you remove it, if the brake light switch is working, your brake light should be on right now because the plunger has come out. Now to fully disconnect it, you just have to push on this piece here while you uh, separate the connector from the switch. So a bit challenging for me to do one handed, but there we go. Now you yourself can test this circuit. If you connect those two larger pins together, your brake light should come on. Now, as far as installing your new switch, simply click it in position. And like I said, when you click your new switch in, your brake light should immediately come on. Now you'll notice there's some notches here on your, on your switch. That is for adjustability. So let me get an, a good angle on that. So you can push the brake light switch in all the way and then lock it in position. What this will do is it won't apply the brake lights immediately. The lever will have to come out a ways before that switch is activated. You can also install it not enough and that might make the brake lights always on or uh, go on and off as the vibration occurs when you drive. So you want to fine tune and find a good adjustment place for the brake light switch to be, and then you can lock it down. So yeah, I hope this information was helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, uh, any important advice about the brake lights on your Honda Civic. Thanks for watching.